Hey guys, we're now over here at Copper Sky in Maricopa for episode 25 of my community fishing waters and lakes out here in Arizona. So stay tuned, we're going to go get set up and we'll see if we can lay into something today. Well now it's just after 7 a.m. guys, we're here at the Copper Sky here in Maricopa. This is the second community fishing waters out here. The first one is Pecana, which is a pond. And now this is Copper Sky. This is a lake, which is five acres. Since it's still early, we do have a lot of grass and debris. Sometimes it's difficult to fish this one. So I'm gonna start with some top water, whopper plopper here. My goal today is to try to catch a bass, a bluegill, and a catfish. So let's try to get one of all three. The trout will be stocked and most of these ponds come in uh, November, so another month before they start putting trout in these uh, lakes and ponds. But today I want to see what we can get. I want to try to get, there should be bass in here, definitely bluegill and catfish, I know that. Uh, they just started uh, stocking catfish again, restocking uh, this past month in most of these ponds. So those are two things I've had really good luck with here is bluegills and uh, catfish. Bass, not so much luck. I haven't had much luck with bass. Never caught one here. But I can honestly say I haven't fished it as much as uh, Pecana, which is much closer to my house. So let's see if we can actually lay into our first uh, copper sky bass today. And uh, since it's early, I'm going to start with this top water. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get our first fish of the day. Got a small hook here, a little piece of worm. Uh, these bluegills have been smacking my drop shot over here. So uh, the hot dog that I put on my catfish pole was gone without a, without even a ring of the bell. So I think it's these bluegills or small bait fish eating it. So let's see if we can't nab a bluegill right here. Sorry, we got a guy mowing right here. These bluegills were right through this spot smacking me pretty good and a couple of them tug nicely so let's see what size we get here. If we can get a decent size we'll put him on the bobber. If he's a little bigger we might put him, uh, use him as cut bait on the catfish pole. I'm just going to kind of walk this through here like this. I'm going to kind of troll this, jigging it a little bit. There were lots of the bluegills. It's hard to see in this murky water, but every once in a while I see them come up to the surface. So there definitely is plenty of them out here. Like I said, they were smacking me pretty good right through this little canal, especially right about here, right next to these reeds. When I was running my uh, drop shot through here, they were trying to take it. There they go, there they go, there they go. Oh, we got one right there. See, right next to this thing. Decent size little one, too. Look at the size of this guy. He gut hooked it. That's a decent size one. So, I think he's a little too big for the bobber. Probably just going to have to use him for cut bait, especially since he gut hooked it. You can see him bleeding there on the side. But the bluegills in this pond are definitely bigger than the ones over at Pecana. Just like that. And I'm not going to cut him up just yet. I'm going to let him struggle until he dies. He's bleeding already pretty good, so hopefully that will attract a, a decent catfish. Let's chuck him out there. This is when I wish I brought my bungee cord, just in case we get a big smack. But I do have the slack fairly loose on this thing, just in case we get a big hit. So I'm going to leave this down here, mainly as far down as I can so it doesn't get yanked into the water. Let's grab our bell. So we got the bluegill out of the way. We were able to get a bluegill today. 
he's putting up quite a fight out there already so yeah he's struggling pretty good out there on that so we'll keep an eye on this pole I had gotten this bobber pole set up with a hook just in case we got a small enough one to put on the bobber so I'll save this for maybe next time yeah he's gonna be jerking around a little bit there so we'll let him do his thing the struggling out there with him bleeding ought to be helpful so we'll let him go like this for probably I don't know 10-15 minutes until we kind of notice the struggling has stopped and if he doesn't attract any attention that way then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll switch it up and we'll we'll probably cut it up for, for uh, cut bait so all right now let's try something different on the drop shot I'm gonna go with the uh, the five inch green pumpkin finesse worms and I'm actually gonna hook these a little differently than I normally do on a drop shot because as you can see picking up like weeds and stuff going through there you know I'd love to be able to throw like a wacky rig or something else but I'm just going to keep getting snagged on these reeds and weeds so what I'm going to try to do is almost Texas rig it onto this drop shot I know it's not a extra wide gap big hook but I can probably do like a small little Texas rig to kind of make it weedless so I'm just barely putting the tip of the head through there I'm going to wrap it around Let me try that again. There we go. That's the way I want it. Perfect. And then I'm just going to kind of do it, like I said, like a Texas rig. I'm going to pull it through the body and just have it barely sticking out. Kind of like that little Texas rig right there with the drop shot hook. It's a very small hook, but this way it might work better I think mainly the weight's been getting hung up but I'm gonna try this setup and see how it goes through these weeds a little better while we're waiting on uh, this bluegill to do his job so we want to get three fish today at least wanted to get a bluegill catfish and a bass so far we got the bluegill which kind of knew that would be the easiest one but now we can see if we can use the bluegill to either get us a bass or a catfish uh, while I'm gone, me and my family are going out to Rio Doso, New Mexico to visit my mother-in-law. And so we're going to be going out there. There's two uh, lakes real close to where we're going. So I plan on hopefully fishing at least one or two of the lakes up by Rio Doso while we're gone. And then when I get back, maybe I'll have some footage if, depending how we do. The weather there is definitely going to be a lot cooler than here. It's about 7,000 feet elevation like the rim or like Flagstaff. And it looks like the temperatures up there are going to be like mid to low 60s during the day and you know mid to low 40s at night. So ought to be a little chillier up there. But other than that, it looks like it's going to be sunny and, uh, and nice. So I'm really looking forward to getting out there. I think most of those lakes are uh, trout. And maybe smallmouth, which I haven't caught a smallmouth before, so that'd be kind of cool. Oh, we just got a nice little tug on that. Again, there's a lot of bluegills, decent sized bluegills here, so that might have just been a bluegill giving me a Yankee spanky. Okay, I'm gonna try this, uh, this spike it garlic dip and glow. You put on the soft plastics and it'll change the color and add some garlic scent to it. It's a chartreuse color. So I'm going to dip the back end of this uh, five inch watermelon, like this green watermelon. Just going to dip the tip of the tail in here a little bit.
And you can see how it changed the color there. It's going to add some scent to it. So we're going to try that, see if that doesn't help us out a little bit. we got to pull out all the stops here. Well, let's try that over here. Maybe we'll try like a few minutes over here, and then a few minutes back over there. The line's moving, the line's moving. What do we got? Oh, I think we got one. We got our first pass. Yeah, baby. I did it. It's a dinker dink, but I got my first pecana bass right there. All right. Nice. Nice little side hook here. Let's get that out. Now, that is a total dink, but I said I would take it. Look at that little dude. My first little copper sky bass. He's got some issues going on down here. I don't know what that is, but I'm happy that I finally caught a bass here at, did I say I keep saying pecana? Sorry. My first copper sky bass. And I got to get a pitcher just because I finally got one. Thank you, buddy. The first one hooked by Hurley today, the first bass. Little guy. Well, we got him on the drop shot. So there we go, we got our bass, we got a bluegill. Now we gotta see if we can try to get a catfish today. Still trying to get a, uh, a catfish today. I do have hot dog I can throw, but for now, I'm just going with this night crawler. Now we'll go back to throwing some drop shot. It is 10 o'clock, so we're right in that transition period again between 10 and 12. So I'm going to try to go out a little deeper and work it a little slower. And we got a good snag there. Like we might have to do some push-ups today. Yes, we do. We broke it off. Yep. broke off. Time for some pushy ups. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Time to retie and get back out there. Well, thanks for checking out episode 25 here over at Copper Sky Park here in Maricopa. Today we were able to get a bluegill and my first bass over here, but no luck with the catfish. I was told by a local here they saw him stalking catfish on Tuesday two days ago. So there's definitely catfish in here. I just didn't have any luck with worms or uh, hot dogs. They kept getting eaten by the bluegills before the, before the uh, channel catfish could find them. So thanks for sticking around till the end. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then I will see you next time.